Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Yon's Battle, and today I'm going to show you how to create some Imperial Purity Seals. Here are the materials that I used. You can find a list of materials in the description below. The first thing I did is I prepared myself some green stuff. Now to sculpt these Purity Seals, I'm going to need the green stuff to be a little firmer than when it's freshly mixed, so I kneaded it up. I squished it flat in between a sheet of parchment paper, and then I left it alone for about an hour so that it could start to firm up. Now we all love Games Workshop's plastic purity seals, but there's never enough that come in the box. So to make my purity seals, I began by taking some basic measurements on the plastic purity seals. I then transferred those measurements to some 36 gauge aluminum foil. This foil can be purchased on a roll, and it's a fair bit thicker than aluminum foil, but it's much thinner than an aluminum can. I took the strip of aluminum I cut, and then I cut it down to the length I wanted my purity seals. Next, I glued the two tassels, one on top of the other, together with some super glue. And once that was dry, I then began to sculpt them, adding in some folds and creases with my fingers. If you guys are enjoying the video and you have ideas for videos you'd like to see us do in the future, please leave them in the comments below. As you can see, this is pretty easy to do. And now the only thing left is to attach them to the model. Now these work best for vehicles because the tin is very soft and you don't want to put them in an area that's going to get handled. So you can just glue them down with a drop of super glue and then do any final sculpting to make them look just right. Next, I want to make some very long purity seals that are going to get attached to a model. So the thin aluminum is not going to be strong enough. So I cut myself a length of 30 gauge steel. Now the steel is a lot tougher than the aluminum, so it's going to want to keep its shape nicer, but it's also not going to want to glue down as well. So I took some flat pliers and I crushed the end so that I can pin it to the model. I took the end and then folded it 90 degrees. Here's a close up of what they should look like. Then I used my fingers and my pliers to add in some folds and creases. I got out my pin vise and I decided where I wanted my tassels to live on the model. Then I put some super glue on the tabs that I created and then I glued the tassels onto the banner. The super glue should hold them nice and tight and then you can do some final bending and shaping. The steel is very rugged and should hold its shape nicely. If you like our stuff, stay tuned for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now our green stuff should be ready to work with. First I cut a small strip that would be my tassel. I then cut the green stuff to the length I want the purity seal, and then I attached it to the model with some super glue. I poured myself some super glue and then transferred it to the model with a paper clip. And then I attach my purity seal only at the top. And the reason I only glued the top of the purity seal is so that I could go in and then sculpt all the folds and creases. And once I was happy with the first tassel, I added another one right on top. And you don't have to use super glue on the second tassel because green stuff sticks to green stuff. This is a small tool that I made to help myself cut out lots of purity seals. It's some three millimeter plastic card tubing and then a length of aluminum wire in the middle. This allows me to cut out a lot of purity seals very fast. And this is a needle applicator tip that I'm gonna be using to help shape my purity seals. I took my tool, wetted it with water so the green stuff wouldn't stick to it and then I began stamping out some seals. Then I picked up my seals with a hobby knife and I put them on the top of my purity seals. I pressed the seal into the green stuff with a silicone brush. And then to create the wax seal, I pressed in my needle applicator tip. And if you don't have the needle applicator tip, you can also make the wax seal by pressing in the flat end of a paper clip. I used the same method to create the purity seal for all of the metal tassels. I applied the super glue, added my purity seal, pressed it down with a silicone brush, and then stamped in the wax seal. 
And if you find that these are looking a little too perfect, you can go back in and sculpt in some imperfections. This technique is actually pretty simple and will help you to create lots of nice purity seals very, very fast. If you followed along with this video, please post your work to Instagram and tag Eons of Battle so that we can share it. And there you have it, two and a half methods to make some easy purity seals. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.